<laughs> Unbelievable. Oh, we're getting right into it. So, uh, Moonshoes and Apparition, both uh, fifth place in their in their pools. I I don't have access to the pools, but I gotta say, um, they they both have to be happy with uh, having a shot to make D1. Uh, Apparition, long time, fairly active player, but um, just has never seen the results that really I'd say his skill would suggest. Um, Moonshoes, uh, much less active player, but I will say, uh, having played with and against him recently, still impressive. I was very, very impressed with the amount of, with the level of play that he's maintained. So, um, I see Epad and Wolf playing, I think, that's either on a recording setup or on a second stream if we have one. Um, so... Is Jason, is this SSB64 or that's a Dark Horse? This is SSB64. Is that a recording? That's my YouTube channel and the other one is my stream. Okay. Like okay, so, but people can watch EPAD and Wolf as well. Okay, three, yeah. all right. So all three are available. Uh, two streams and a YouTube channel. No, it's it's streamed. Uh, so, and I, I will say this is interesting. This um, I should have mentioned it earlier. Apparition playing Kirby, I would say out of the normal for singles. Uh, Moonshoes, last two times I've, few times I've played with him, he's played Pika and had very impressive uh, showings. And here we go! The epic oh, wild card go. round here! Oh, here it goes. So we got, we got uh, Apparition the Ambassador versus Mr. Moonshoes. So let's talk about it, man. These D2 two, seeing these two uh, with a real shot to make D1. Very impressive for both of them. I must agree. I must agree. The Very skill. impressive by both these players. I do not think they were seated to get into uh, Division uh, One here. I'm really curious to see who they beat to make it here. Um, very, very good showings for both of them. The skill has always been there, but um, the they results, are veterans, the, veterans of the game. The, the results say. don't necessarily show themselves. There's a bit of nerves, um, and I, I know these two <laughs> are very familiar with each other. Um, so it's a very yeah, interesting but, but player. I think this is a, one of the more interesting player matchups we could see at this level. I, I, love I, it. I would have to agree with you there, Mr. Brody, but I am not used to seeing Apparition, the ambassador, play as Kirby. Yeah, I was shocked to see. Uh, he, I believe he's Apparition, the abominable. The abominable Kirby. Um, going I Kirby. think he, he told me he was in so much pain that he just had to play Kirby. Uh, I'd like to say Moonshoes probably feels pretty comfortable against Kirby. But Apparition doing a great job of keeping this uh, Pikachu at bay here. Yeah, these very evenly matched players. Yeah, this this is going to go down to the wire, and that back air should do it. Yeah. So Apparition with the with a small lead here. He's looking strong. Yeah, the He's, Kirby is Kirby is good. Yeah, Kirby's been been in control, not doing anything uh, too crazy, not overextending. Moonshoes uh, kind of having trouble finding his way in here, but does catch a nice back air. Nah, this has been very evenly matched from the start. So you see them both trading stocks, trading interactions. Uh, Moonshoes every so often getting in with a back air, and then Apparition following there up. There it is. That back air, just like you were talking about, Mr. Brody. Oh, yeah. but another recovery from Apparition. Oh, Can he get an up tilt combo? He misses there. that. Yeah, one of uh, Pika's better um, neutral winners here. You can get a lot off of back air, and it, it pokes out very far. There it is, back air. That's shoe. It's not very stale back air. does not get the stock. It's very hard for Kirby to range. That, and that uh, should do it. Nice air. F tilt from Mr. Moonshoes, who really, really wants to get well, out of this wild card Yeah, bracket. like I said, uh, back and forth, man. Bakes basically dead even. Gets the back air. Oh, great up tilts from Apparition. Ops for the downer. I feel like he got could have gotten more out of that. Wanted an up tilt for sure. Oh, 
Nice snare. I don't think he has a jump. Great read, but Musu oh. stops it short. Apparition Great reaction. can't punish, but nice down tilt into a nair, but it gets shielded. There's a this big back air. Kenny edge guard. It's, it's difficult. Gets a little follow-up. Follow him onto the plot. Ooh, gets the back air. gets the tech chase right, back Moonshoes air. Just still not enough. There. Let's see the angle from Moonshoes. Oh, Another he, back air. He cut it short, and Apparition was able to chase. And again, doesn't wow. get to that side plat. So many back airs. I think Munchus needs to opt for the ledge. He's There's getting punched on the side plat. Can he finish this no. stock? Oh, and Munchus really with the zip zap right off the stage. That's going to be game one apparition. I think at, <laughs> at, at the end, I would have really liked to see Munchus go for the ledge there. Uh, app I agree. The, the side plats covered the whole time. Moonshoes going for the Kirby Ditto, wow. giving the people what, what they want. What a change! What a change of scenery we have here. Now from a peak of Kirby to Kirby Dittos. Uh, Let's this, see how Moonshoes. Uh, I go, think goes um, about this. Not necessarily from like a character standpoint, but from a player standpoint, I think this is an excellent pick from Moonshoes. Do I you? Think, I think. There's no way that Apparition has the amount of patience that uh, that Moonshoes will have. Oh, so it's a battle of wits. Yeah, yeah. Well, a battle no, of patience, it's, it's a not battle a, of discipline. It's a battle of patience for for sure. It is, I would not say a battle of wits, although <laughs> typically the Kirby Ditto <laughs> is. I think in this particular situation, it's going to be a battle of uh, patience and mental fortitude. Oh, pretty nice combo there but, from Apparition. Yeah, Apparition showing the patience that. to start Moon off. Moonshoes goes right off, just rocks off the stage. He knows he's not getting back. There, yeah. There's a little down, down here, a forward smash, the curb is special. Yeah, really? So what we've seen from Apparition, what I did not expect in this set, we see the patience from Apparition, but the pressure is more on Moonshoes' side. Oh, 100%. I think Moonshoes is the, uh, is, I would say much more nervous and anxiety ridden than Apparition the Ambassador is well, right now. Well, I, I, with App, the worry is always uh, whether he can keep his frustrations at bay. But he's doing pretty well. Like, you see, he looks very oh, uh, calm is. and confident. So, yeah, here we go. Dead even Kirby Ditto. About a minute 30 down. Oh, catches an up tilt. Let's see, down air. Tries the up tilt again into a down air. He's looking like a young Fukuru here. Oh, and he's off stage. Ooh. Great coverage from Moonshoes. Oh, Moonshoes uh, should have went for the nair instead of the down air there. Yeah, that, I mean, that's really tough when Kirby's that close to ledge to cover Ooh. that uh, up B like that. Oh, but that Apparition should do shows it if an App ability. could just grab the ledge here, and he does. There's and that's a difference maker in a set like this. Oh, Apparition, no, Apparition showed he could do exactly what Moonshoes couldn't in that same very situation. Very true, very true. Oh, and he falls right into the up tilt, but Apparition gets out. I'd say a little good DI. Let's see. Let's see where the first interaction is there on the top plat. Ooh, and up air from Apparition. You know he did not want to do that. But yeah, no, it, it seems that Moonshoe's punish game is just not strong enough to take those quick uh, quick stocks against Kirby. Yeah. I it, do not think that throw is going to kill. Let's see how Apparition recovers here. So he gets another, another grab, grab, but that's just not going to be enough. Yeah, I think I uh, need around 120 there to kill on that platform. Yeah, I was going to say, is Pika, Pika's around, um, what is it, 99, something like that. So it's going to need a little more for Kirby. Yeah, is Kirby heavier than Pikachu? Oh, for sure. Yes. That's what makes so. um, that's what makes the punish game as Falcon Big so difficult on Kirby. Big back air from Moonshoes ties this right back. This has been a back and forth matchup, to say the least. Yeah, and dead, dead even, dead even. Yeah, it's a little percent. You see, yeah, and Moonshoes these guys are uh, this definitely camp. a camp in top plat. But he just there, gave it to but him. But he just gave it up. Um, Got to you know, think what is going on in Moonshoes head here. Now he gets caught in an up tilt. App goes for the back air there. And you know, you think about it. You, if you're playing against oh. a Kirby main, maybe the playing that top plat floating game is good. But neither of these guys is a Kirby main. Just play what you're comfortable. You know, if you both like fighting on the I ground, agree. just do it. Stay no. with stay with what you're comfortable with. Yeah, no reason no reason to go up there. Apps you know threw away all his jumps. Thankfully, he makes it back, but dangerous Ooh, game. Up tilt to a down air to jab. Interesting to an up air that gets shielded. Just such strange options. <laughs> strange <laughs> options know. from these curves here. That's just that's a very easy input to miss. Sometimes I actually like seeing it thrown out if it's immediately followed by an up tilt, because people see that up air oh, and instinctively go oh. Easy punish, and they run right into an up right, tilt, yep, up tilt yep, right as you yep. land. Oh, I think the oldest he, trick in the book. I would have liked to see Moonshoes push him off stage with the back air there. 
Um, but I guess the edge guards haven't really been there, so any kind of damage you can rack up is fine. Yeah, I'm surprised on the edge guard and the uh, Kirby's haven't been trying to jump higher than the Kirby trying to recover the stage. It's really hard to cover. You know, Kirby can use his last jumps to grab the ledge uh, right at that level, so you kind of got to play at the ledge. A very sweet spot Kirby yeah. can do. Yes, that is true, Mr. Brody. Oh, great. Uh, just fall in with the back air. Ooh, just misses that. Gets bad it, dad. yeah. Luchus doesn't throw jumps. anything out. Yep. Goes into rock mode. Gives up that stock. But Apparition at 106%. This could go either way. Moonshoes falls into him. Oh, if he was a little quicker, I think he could have gotten a punish there and taken the stock. Any of this percent that Apparition's getting now is just gravy. Ooh, nice combo for Mr. Apparition. Moonshoes really running Looking out of time here. Oh, he gets oh. the cutter to make it back on stage. Oh, he doesn't get away. I think the roll into down tilt might have saved him there. Uh, this is still anybody's game. Apparition Ooh, obviously know. has a... Very strong advantage, but yeah, Moon one shoes. Uh, forward smash might might kill the Kirby at this point for Apparition. Yeah, I guess um, it, with the with the way the punish game has been going, this is going to be very difficult for Munchies. Up smash oh, too late, and that'll that do it. Up smash. Oh. I don't. Oh, it yep. does kill Apparition. Does it? 2-0 and moves on in his wild card. And bracket. I gotta say, both players, you know, should be quite proud of their performance. Uh, not the way you want to go. But Apparition moves further with a chance to make it to D1. I'd like to see that put in his sponsor yeah. tag if he I is wonder, able to make I, it. I am definitely wondering who Apparition has to play next now, because I don't think it's one and done. No, no, definitely not. So let's it's see. a wild who card do we got bracket. Here? Mr. A1 is uh, Port, Port 2 versus Capos, a New Jersey matchup in this Apex D2 wild card. Oh, uh, boom. And so they are both playing on Sector Z. Oh, they gentlemen's to Sector <laughs> Z, but no, apparently not. 